Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly lunar reading. So this is gonna cover the first quarter moon in March going into the waxing gibbous phase. So that's March 21st through March 27th and that covers the signs of Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. So let's hop right into it. Make sure Pisces you're thinking about your person because your thoughts have very high vibrations and we want to connect to their energy. So spirit guides of Pisces, spirit guides of Pisces person come through this card all of these cards let us know what pisces person is thinking about pisces during this first quarter moon phase Ooh, we have the six of swords coming out so they're thinking about moving on in some way i almost feel like it's mentally energetically with the swords energy coming out but they are thinking about moving on let's see why that is six of swords why is the six of swords out because the nine of cups in reverse is coming out. So this is someone who feels depleted. They feel like their energy is lost. They're feeling drained Pisces. Cups energy, this could be your Pisces energy actually. But I feel like for whatever reason, it's like they feel discontent or unsatisfied or maybe shorted by you or things didn't work out the way that they were supposed to. But they're feeling like, I'm almost getting this image of like, um, a donkey going somewhere with its like tail tucked in and like very sad energy. It's like, oh, like very disappointing, upset. I got to move on because things didn't work out energy. Let's get their intentions. What are Pisces person's intentions during this first quarter moon phase spirit? What are their intentions? The first, that one. Okay. Okay. Flip it up. Seven of Pentacles. So they are assessing things. They're thinking about things. They're looking over the relationship. And I think that's the reason that they have doubts. They're like, things didn't go the way that we planned. There were a lot of disappointments involved. It might not just be like them. Feel, like they could feel like they disappointed you just as much as they feel like you disappointed them. And it's just like a happily, happily ever after that did not work out. So I feel like they're looking over this relationship almost in sadness, kind of assessing what went wrong. Um, let's see what the most likely outcome is for this first quarter moon. Flip it. Strength. Keep on keeping on energy. So there's a little figure eight infinity symbol. I almost feel like there's more to come with this. Strength always symbolizes internal strength. Keep on keeping on. Do your thing. So I feel like there's more to come between you and this person, Pisces. This person, by the way, could be a Leo. They could be an earth sign, another water sign, or an air sign. Let's get more about Pisces person's feelings during this first quarter moon. What's going on with that spirit? Pisces person's feelings. First quarter moon. How are they feeling? What's going on? Oh my gosh. I literally have to go across the table and get this card. <laughs> I think it's so funny. What a cosmic joke. Longing. I literally had to go the long way to get this card. This person's longing for you. It's so funny because they're moving away because of disappointment, but they're still longing for you. And I think this is the decision they're making. Seven of Pentacles energy, assessing, decision making, figuring out what works for them, what doesn't work for them. But deep down, they still want your ass. They still want that ass, Pisces. All right, overall energies regarding Pisces person on how they feel about Pisces. What's going on, spirit? During this first quarter moon, how is Pisces person feeling about Pisces? Vanity and creation. So with vanity coming out, I feel like this person, there's a lot of looking energy. With seven of pentacles, like decision, weighing things out, vanity, there's something about looking, peering into something, even with longing. I think this person's kind of, it's almost like they're drowning their sorrows. And I kind of get that too with the Nine of Cups. I don't know if this person's engaging in a lot of alcoholism. Maybe that is kind of the person they are. But there's a lot of, like, I'm just going to bury this deep down. And then we have creation. So with longing and creation, they definitely want a new beginning with you. That to me is very obvious. But in terms of movement, it's kind of like, they're stuck, but with strength, this could come around during this week, this lunar week, but more than anything, I think this person's kind of stuck. I, I mean, they're moving on, but it's like they're stuck on a decision. And I, I feel like they're kind of moving on reluctantly. They didn't want to move on, but they feel like that's what they have to do. 
Um, more about Pisces person's energy. Thank you, spirit. Okay, we have spring equinox, rebirth. I like that with creation. Divine feminine energy, forest, breath. So this person's definitely trying to breathe some life back into this or they want to see some life breathed back into this relationship. But I feel like they also with forest breath, they need to take a breather. They need to take a step back before it can come to light again. All right. What's to come, spirit? What can we expect? What can Pisces expect from this relationship, from what's to come, from this first quarter moon, bottom one? Spider spirit, make your dreams real. So I don't know if you're dreaming about this person, Pisces. They could be dreaming about you. But with this energy, I think this person, like I said, there's a lot of looking energy. This person could be stalking your social media. I kind of get that with the web, World Wide Web. They could be peering in, looking in. That could be the longing, them wanting to recreate something with you, rebirth something with you, breathe life back into something. There's something about breathing life back into this. All right, another one about what we can expect or energies to expect. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. Yeah, with all this water sign energy, this person's definitely doing some some internal reflection, heavy thinking, heavy, and I think that's what's driving their longing for you. All right, spirit guides of Pisces, spirit guides of Pisces person, what can we expect during this first quarter moon? Any energies to expect during this first quarter moon from Pisces person? First quarter moon of the waxing gibbous, let us know. Energies from Pisces person, they're making me work for this, that one? Emotion, that's what I thought. You don't long for someone without emotion protection this one keeps coming out for people by the way this person could be a cancer or an aries but i feel like with protection there's a reason you're not with this person right now they are dreaming about you with this dream weaver energy make your dreams real emotion longing they're really wanting you they're desiring you right now but i think they know that they got to do some inner work before this relationship comes back around all right, more energies we can expect, Spirit, from Pisces person. That one? Yeah, Grove self-worth. I like to see this because this is definitely healing energy. They care enough about their healing to work on themselves and enough about you to work on themselves. So it's a beautiful energy, but I feel like it's kind of withdrawn in a way with longing. There's something at a distance here. Let's get some, wow, didn't even have to ask. Okay, I was gonna ask any intentions, messages, anything from Pisces person and we get door to spirit. So spirit is most likely creating something with this whole ethereal energy. I think something's going on with spirit. Spirit's, spirit's up to something here. I think spirit is kind of orchestrating the puppet show. They're behind the scenes doing what they do to make sure that the, you know what pay attention to spring i think the spring equinox is actually coming up yeah it's coming up this month so something could ha could happen within like the next ooh, like week two weeks just be mindful of that time frame the spring equinox because i i think something's coming around then All right, more about Pisces person's feelings. How are they feeling? Messages, anything we need to know. We have relaxation and move forward. Yeah, and it kind of makes sense. I love that the first card and the last card are so in tune. Six of Swords, move forward. They want to move forward. I think, so part of me thinks they want to move forward with you. But part of me is, and you know what? I think that is the decision. Do I move on with you or do I move on away from you? I think that's what's going through their mind right now. And that's why the longing is here. That's why the decision is here. I think they got to do more healing though. There's a lot about the moon coming out. So this moon cycle is definitely going to get to your person, Pisces. But they have to, they got to figure their shit out. They got to figure out if they want to move forward with you or away from you but they're definitely still desiring you. And at the end of the day, they want a, a rebirth with you, a creation, a recreation. 
All right, give us more about the number frequency for Pisces person's energy on how they feel towards Pisces. Six and three, nine. Yeah, this is wrapping up a cycle. They're looking to close something out, and I feel like it's like, yeah, they're looking into this relationship wondering, do I shut the door completely or open it? But with this door open, I think that's a, that's a sign from spirit. It is the door to spirit. So expect more to come and pay attention to your dreams. I think this person's coming through through your dreams and they are having dreams about you as well. So I hope that this resonated, Pisces. Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you in the next lunar reading.